sometimes I watch other people's YouTube videos and I see how freaking perfect they look and then I realise that for most of my videos I wear my pyjamas and um, brush my hair and that's about it. I have no regrets. This is the life I have chosen. Hello humans! Today it is officially September which means it is officially no longer winter which means I am officially depressed. I love winter. You cannot go past winter. Winter is the best season. Hands down. I just love winter. I love the coldness of it. I love being able to have so many blankets. I love being able to drink so much hot tea. I love being able to eat so much hot food. But the thing is, now that it is no longer winter, it means it's spring. And after spring comes summer. I'm little- I'm very upset about this. I don't like summer. Because it's really hot. That's pretty much the reason I don't like summer. I love swimming. I love being able to sit outdoors and bask in light. But it's always so stinking hot and you can't ever escape it. It's disgusting. I don't like summer. And particularly Australian summers are quite violent. They'll eat you. Summer isn't nice to pale people like me. So today, I am going to teach all of you how to survive an Australian summer. Because you will need help. First step is to move to Alaska. Just, just move to Alaska. And obviously that might not be a possibility for everyone. So make a friend that has an aircon or a pool. You are not going to survive the summer if you do not have somewhere to go and decrease your body temperature. I'm surprised that spontaneous combustion is not a bigger issue in Australia. I really am. Step two is to realize that this might be the year you get a skin cancer. I'm pretty sure skin cancer is one of the biggest killers in Queensland. I know so many people that have had skin cancers cut out. Still wear sunscreen. Still wear a hat. Still wear long sleeved things that don't make you look like a dork because you don't want to look like a dork but you need to be sun safe at the same time. Slip slop slap. Be sun safe. The next thing you're gonna need to do is buy one of those big country outback hats. I'm pretty sure they're called the Cooperas. You know, like the really big wide brimmed ones and they have like the little corks hanging off them. They're very Australian. They are Australian. You need one because you need to protect your beautiful face from the harsh rays of the summer sun. Step four is to soak up on ice cubes. There is nothing worse than being outside, melting, coming back inside, racing to get yourself a cold drink of water and realizing there's no ice. Another alternative to this is having stocked cold bottles of water in the fridge. Let me just tell you, even if you have one of those newfangled taps that come out with cold water already cold, that's not gonna happen. There have been times in my life, living here in Australia, where I have literally turned the tap onto full cold and the water has come out boiling. So great when I make a cup of tea, which is not as often during summer. Terrible when I'm about to melt because of heat. Ice cubes seriously are the most underrated items in the world. You need ice cubes. And last but certainly not least on this list of tips on how to survive an Australian summer, it's kind of depressing. You have to acknowledge within yourself, you're gonna have to forgo hugs, high fives, braces, any kind of side, you know, embrace, any type of physical affection, any touching of another human being is gonna be basically impossible for the next three months. Because here's the thing, it's gonna get hot. And when you are standing in a pool of your own sweat, there is no way you're gonna wanna touch another human being. I just hate summer. So yeah guys, that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. I love you and goodbye. I really feel for all those people that are blessed with the ability to fall in love and to have someone love them back and that have a significant other because I honestly cannot imagine anything worse than having someone that you just want to like be attached to the hip to all the time and not being able to touch them because that would be like you were in some sci-fi novel but in real life. <laughs>